Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. In this week's episode, we're going to feature the Bouge RV 23 quart fridge. And in our tip segment, we're going to talk about how you can get a discount code for this and other Bouge RV models. Stick around. When I go camping, I always want to make sure I bring along my cooler. Now the thing about the cooler is you gotta make sure you have ice, then you gotta deal with the melting of the ice and the water that gets your things soaked. And then of course you could fill a plastic water bottle with water and freeze it and have that as your source. And then that'll also double as some water, but they don't last very long either. A nice 12 volt refrigerator would be great, but they are pretty spendy. I mean, when you go look online at some of the big name brand refrigerator freezers, they're over a thousand dollars. And I just can't spend that kind of money on a 12 volt refrigerator freezer, so the cooler would have to do. But I really wanted to get a 12 volt refrigerator, and I thought there are some smaller models that aren't using the Dan Foss compressor like those well known name brand refrigerators. And I've looked online at some reviews Hobotech's done a review, Slim Potato Head's done a review, and so I was thinking of doing the same thing. They're in the $300 price point range. And some of them are 15 quarts, some of them are 20 quarts. Well, when I saw that Bouge RV came out with a 23 quart fridge, and then when I saw Hobotech's review on how decent of a fridge it is, I thought that would probably be one that I would consider getting because they come with a three year warranty and they're in the $300 price point range. So if after the warranty period it were to conk out, if I still was into doing the camping and the overlanding, I could buy another one and still have saved money compared to buying those big expensive name brand ones. And I don't need a big fridge in the back of my Jeep. Plus when I think about what do I necessarily have to chill, there's not really that many things that I need to keep chilled all the time. So for example, I could keep a few beers in the cooler and then when I need to, when they are empty, just replenish it. I don't have to necessarily chill all 12 bottles at the same time. And that leaves me room for butter, cream, meat, that sort of thing. So I was thinking what I liked about the Bouge RV 23 quart fridge, it was at the $300 price point. It was a size that would fit nicely in the Jeep. And it was 23 quarts. It was a little bit more than the 20 quarts in the same price range and it was still small. So I contacted Bouge RV and asked if I would be able to get discount codes for my viewers. Well, full transparency, Bouge RV sent me the fridge to review and they have provided me with a discount code for the fridge which I'll feature in the tip segment of the video because it's not just for this fridge but some other models as well and I'll discuss that further later. But now let's just talk about the fridge. What are some of the specs? Well, the fridge is 22.6 inches long, 12.97 inches tall, and 12.8 inches wide. The bottom of the fridge is plastic, the sides are made out of aluminum, and the lid has a rubber seal and a magnetic latch to hold it tight. The exterior is made of plastic, and on the left side you have a recessed handle and on the right side, you also have a recessed handle as well as some vents for the compressor. The right side also has a 12 or 24 volt input plug. The unit also comes with an AC adapter when you want to use shorter power, but when you want to use a 12 volt source, it gives you a 13 and a half foot long cable and the traditional cigarette lighter outlet plug. I've seen online reviews that suggest when you're off-roading, the shaking is not the best scenario when these types of plugs are used because they can pop out as you can see here on the Jackery. For me, I choose to plug it into the cigarette outlet in my dash so I could see it in front of me and it happens to fit there quite snugly. Okay, so now I have the fridge plugged in with the AC adapter so that it could start up and begin to chill. And I did this so you could hear the compressor running. So I'll stop talking so you can hear it. So it does give a little hum when the compressor is running. They all do that. How this compares to the other brands, I don't know. But I just wanted you to know and hear what it sounds like. Now, I have to admit, when we were camping, and this was in the front seat of the Jeep. If it came on at night, I didn't hear it. I was sleeping like a log. <laughs> but anyway, 
Now that we've talked about that, I just want to draw your attention to the display. Now in the display, it shows you up here, for example, what the temperature is inside the fridge. And this is the power button. And this is the settings button. And all the instructions on how to change your settings is on this sticker on the side of the display here, which you can remove once you figured it all out. But that's where you could set, for example, the protection mode of high, medium, or low. And what basically that does is if you were having this plugged into the cigarette lighter of your Jeep and going off the battery of your Jeep, when it detects a certain number of volts left in your car battery, it'll stop drawing power so that it doesn't draw the necessary battery juice that you need to start your Jeep. But I use a Jackery, so it doesn't matter for me. But another setting is eco or max mode. If you want to get the most out of your battery, you would set it into eco mode rather than max mode. When I'm powering at home, I can set it in max mode so it cools quicker. But if I was just using it in the Jeep, plugged into the Jackery, I'd have it in eco mode. The best analogy I could give for that is if you were driving your Jeep on the on-ramp to get on the highway, and if you were wanting to get up to speed, you could press on the gas and just give it and get up to speed really fast, but you use more gas that way, compared to if you just gently were to increase the speed of the Jeep, you would still get up to speed, but you wouldn't use as much energy. Well, that's the same for max and eco mode. In max, you can get the fridge chilled quicker, but in eco mode, you can still get the fridge chilled. It just takes a little longer, but it uses less juice. Another interesting thing I wanna point out, for example, is this little port right here. Believe it or not, there's a USB port in this fridge. Initially, I thought, well, that's pretty random. Why would I want that? But actually, when camping, I needed to access something on my phone, but I was worried that I was too low on juice, so I actually plugged into here. And so I just wanted to show another thing that I came up with, which will be an exclusive Cheaper Cheaper TV Premiere on how to use this. As I explained late earlier, the inside of the cooler doesn't have a light. So I thought using the provided USB port and one of these inexpensive USB powered LED lights, I could just plug it into the USB port and now I have a light. So at nighttime, if I needed to access something from the fridge, I could just plug in that USB light in the USB port and it gives me some light. Bouge RV also makes handy carrying bags. It has handles on the top and pockets on the side to store your cables, openings for vents and plugs, and for the integrated handles, and there's pockets on the other side as well. The handle is useful for carrying the fridge around and it is also adjustable so you could throw it over your shoulder to help carry your fridge. The connection points on the bag can also be used to tie your fridge down and the zippers can help you open the bag to fit around your fridge easily. I was really impressed with the quality of construction of the bag. The stitching and the materials are superb. It remains to be seen if the insulation value is significant, but the bag is certainly handy to help carry the fridge and your cables around. So now let's have a look at what 23 quarts of food might look like. So let's test how efficiently the fridge operates. So there at the bottom is thermometer number one. There at the top is thermometer number two. Got a two liter bottle of water, eight cans of water, and a carton of cashew milk. I'll just close the lid. I've got the fridge set to eco mode. I have to set it to minus one to get it to record about a three in the fridge on the thermometer. 
And then there's the insulating cover. So the jackery is showing 100%. The fridge reads zero. But as you can see on the thermometer, the bottom of the fridge is three, the top of the fridge is five, and the thermometer outside of the fridge is 19. And we're just now gonna set the timer. And then we'll come back, and when the jackery is down to zero, You'll see how long it took to drain the battery with the fridge. When doing the test, I never opened the fridge once because I just wanted to see how long it would last. And so I recorded my values at different time intervals and recorded the percent battery remaining. And as you can see in this graph, it almost went for four days. I would mark down the battery reading at 100%, then at the next time I would mark the battery reading, and with each time interval I would record the percent battery remaining. And the last reading I recorded was 17%. The next time I went to the battery, it was already drained. But you could see from the graph, it almost went to 4 days. What's also interesting is when I did the test with the fridge in eco mode without the insulating cover, the results were not different. I'm not sure if during the summertime temperatures and temperature swings of day and night in the real world environment will give you different results with the cover, but in the controlled environment in which this fridge was tested, there is no difference in the efficiency of the fridge whether with or without the cover. Also, this can serve as a freezer. In fact, in my Jeep Club, uh, we were discussing using it to freeze and keep frozen a bunch of water bottles and over the length of the trip, because we're thinking of doing an overland trip, distribute the frozen bottles to the other participants' coolers to help them keep their items cold in their cooler. So I think it's a pretty good value for the $300 price point for the size you get, keeping in mind that you don't necessarily want to get something that's even bigger. What if you were to get one? Where can you mount it? The nice thing about a fridge this size is if it's being powered by the Jackery and you have your cook tent set up in a nice spot of your campsite where your Jeep isn't near, you could just grab your cooler with materials in it and then also bring your Jackery along and take it to your campsite. So the form and function of this fridge really suits my needs and I thought I'd share this to see if it was suitable for you as well. And maybe you're not looking for a 12 volt fridge but you know somebody who is make sure you share this video with them they'd appreciate the savings that's available and why don't we talk about that now in our tip segment as i'm going to feature the discount code for you to get 10 percent off of this model of refrigerator which brings it below 300 dollars canadian and not only just this model but also a few other Bouge RV models that they made available at a discount to cheaper jeeper tv viewers let's move on to our tip segment so i could share those codes with you now now for some Cheaper Jeeper tips. Cheaper Jeeper TV viewers get access to a discount code. So when you go and you order this online, if you use the discount code in this chart for the model that you would like, you can take 10% off the price of the fridge. It's a good time to mention that you do get a two year warranty with the fridge. And if you register the fridge on the Facebook group, you get an additional year of warranty. So that's three years warranty on this fridge. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope you found it interesting. And if you did, how about giving this video a thumbs up? And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to do so by clicking the subscribe button down below and the alert bell so you'll be notified when our next video is released. Until then, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.